Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Kat, this is my partner Dean. We've recently done a travel series in California, but today is a very exciting day because we are back at the airport, ready to start our next travel series. So it's not really travel day today, it's kind of pre-travel day. We are on our way to Dublin, where we fly to our final destination from on Sunday. Today's Friday, the 30th September. So we've got a day in Dublin and then on Sunday, we fly to our actual destination, which is still a little bit of a secret. Um, but yeah, the airport is really quiet. It's very weird. We thought it'd be quite busy on a Friday evening. I finished work at three, quickly got changed, got the last bits together and then headed straight to the airport. But it is really dead and we've got here and found out that the flight's delayed. So there's a parking car in the streets as well, flashed up your an hour early. <laughs> So now we're actually four and a half hours early for the flight. We came here three and a half hours early thinking, you know, airports are really busy at the moment. Now we're four and a half hours early. Just kill so, as many as you never know. We never know. We're going to go and kill some time anyway in the airport. Do a bit of duty free shopping, get something to eat. And most airport importantly, bevy. yeah, bought bevy. Definitely. Well, was that not the easiest trip through airport security you've ever had? Yeah. An absolute doddle, except for the fact that Dean threw two £10 notes from his pocket because she said empty your pockets into my tray. And then when I was getting all my stuff back together, I didn't notice them and they miraculously disappeared. So, I was going to get the rounds in, but I can't now. Not a good start, really. An hour delayed and you've lost £20. <laughs> Is that karma for the fact that we laughed at the people that had paid for Fast Track? I know. <laughs> we were just like, imagine if you paid £5 for Fast Track and this was the queue. And I was like, I know, I'll be asking for a refund whilst the people in Fast Track were going, going well, they weren't really going past us, they were just joining the queue at the same time as us. That's our karma for finding that funny. So anyway, we've managed to find a little table in the kissing gate. It is quite busy now that we're through. There's a lot of stag do's, hen do's. So we've managed to find a quiet little table at the back of the kissing gate. We've ordered some food. We've got three hours. It'll be by the time we're on the plane. And it's not exactly the biggest airport ever, is it? No. Oh well. At least we can relax and chill. This is now when the holiday starts. Playing what? There's not much planes to watch either. But this is now once we're through security. And I will never understand why every airport has different security rules. Like Manchester make me take out all of my camera gear, drone, anything with a battery pack, iPad obviously, um, portable chargers, power banks, anything. They make that me take that out. Here it was just liquid laptops. He's got his airport baby. Yeah, we have just liquids and laptops and anything with a bigger screen and your phone. Dead easy. Can't understand why it's not just standardised across the board, just makes life so much easier. Are you happy you've got your belly though? I am, but I've got me 20 quid to it. I'm not going to hear the end of that £20 all holiday. That'll be it now. That'll be it. Vegetarian burger. Vegetarian burger. What's wrong with a beef burger or a chicken burger? They wouldn't let me take the cheese off. <laughs> so is it a vegan burger then? It is, yeah. It's a plant-based chicken burger. Nice. Annoyingly, my order still hasn't come and Dean's finished his. But my drinks have come. They had an offer on, on two big bottles of Buxton for 2 pounds and I just got 
a Diet Coke. I'm not a big drinker, I'm not into this airport bevies, malarkey. Gotta have a Guinness and Dublin though. I'll have a half a Guinness. Have you ever tried a Guinness? Yes, when we did the Guinness tour when we went to Dublin. Did you like it? Indifferent, did not like it, didn't love it. I'm just not, I don't know, we're just, just not a big drinker. Just not a big drinker. So, give me a water and a little cheeky fizzy drink. That's my treat, it's a fizzy drink. Because I only really drink water. Give that beer, give a seven out of ten. Seven? Yeah. Well, I've ordered a tikka masala, so uh, we'll see. See how that comes. Well, here we go, guys. Tikka masala, covered by Papa Dom. Here's some rice underneath there. Mango chutney. Lovely, lovely. That was actually really delicious. Mango chutney. I didn't I didn't eat the uh, what are, what are they jalapenos. Chilies. I didn't brave the jalapeno. Are they chilies or jalapenos? Chilies. Well, I didn't brave the chilies anyway because I didn't want to risk upsetting my stomach before some travel. Uh, but yeah, it was very nice. I have to say, as far as airport food goes, it was overpriced. Won't lie, but as far as airport food goes. Really nice, and we're still just sitting here being to boots and boards and waters. Well, these are the ones I ordered from here Dean's being to boots and boards and waters. Yep, just still waiting. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to duty free, I don't think, because save that for Dublin Airport. What are you gonna buy there? Okay. No, no, just nosy through duty free. You've got to have a nosy. It's not special this one though, is it? No, that's what I mean. So I'm going to save the duty free nosy ink for Dublin. And I haven't had a spray not to show you that. Right? <laughs> Did you spray it before you left the yeah. house? The same after shave you always spray. Maybe that's something we could do in Dublin, get you to spray a new after shave. We'll see. Has done that. Absolutely not. Let's put that back where it belongs and get a proper shirt back on display. None of that. This is what we want. Well, we're not having much fun anymore, are we? The time, the departure time keeps just keeps changing. It was 9.40, now it's 10.15, but then Dean's just looked at his phone, now it's 5 to 10. I just want to know when we're going. The delay's been longer than the flight will be. A bit bored now, to be honest with you. We're waiting to to bed now, Yeah, we're just going to go, we're not missing much, but it's just just want to be on our way really it's always these little flights where we would we'd be starting would we have took off by now time just is it two minutes ago. we should be in the air by now um and we should have landed by the time our plane will leave it's always the little ones that seem to get delayed for us anyway but i think a uh, four i mean it's like to go all the way by at least an hour so. yeah Four remaining last flights of the There's night. There's another Dublin place after that, so God knows when that's from. Well, if it doesn't hurry up, I'm going to end up going and spending money on trainers that are lying up in JD. Not good because I don't really have room in the suitcase, to be honest with you. So one must resist.
are indicated by a red exit sign, and the footpath markings will guide you to the nearest exit in an emergency. The exits are located on both sides of the aircraft, at the front. It's not going well, is it, Dean? No. Finally landed in Dublin at midnight. It's two hours late. <laughs> now, the, the, the taxi that I ordered hasn't turned up, which I've already paid for. It must be because we were delayed. Maybe they sent someone at the time we were supposed to get here and, you know. <laughs> I need to get us. We are just absolutely shattered, I think. I've been in work since 7 o'clock this morning. I was up at half past five. So it's just been a very long, long day. And we're just ready. Ready to get to our hotel, ready to get to bed. Our cases came off the flight really quick though, didn't they? We weren't waiting around for any baggage. They were on the conveyor waiting for us by the time we got there. Security, there was no queues. Guess that's the benefit of being here at midnight. Um, and we kind of expected our taxi to be stood waiting for us. We're in the right spot. They're not here. We rang them about 10 minutes ago. They said they were on the way. Still no show. We did, however, get a very friendly Irish welcome. I don't know whether it's their accent that just makes them sound so friendly, but yeah, all the security staff were all really friendly. Top of the morning to you. Didn't really say that, it's not it morning, morning time, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically it is, technically. Oh, I just want a bed. Well, we have arrived at our hotel. Is it called the Maldron? Maldron Hotel. Maldron Hotel. To be honest, makes no odds to me what it's called. There are two comfy looking beds, which is all I want to get into right now and sleep. I am so tired. I have got a banging headache. I am just ready for my bed after a busy day in work and then rushing around to get to the airport on time to only be delayed to then keep getting it delayed further. Yeah, then yeah, six hours. Yeah. yeah, six hours we were in there. And it was all going so well. It was so quiet. We were made up. Then we got called to gate. Then it got delayed again. So then we disappeared from the gate. Then, oh, just not a very fun pre-travel day. Let's hope in, here's hoping our travel from Dublin to our secret destination goes a little bit more smoothly who knows but anyway bedtime and we'll see you tomorrow for our day in dublin i'm just going to forewarn you we're having a lie-in and i don't think we're going to be having a mad busy day running around dublin seeing all the sites we have been to dublin before so we've done the guinness factory we've done the zoo we've done the main things i think we're gonna have a chilled day go out for some food see where the day takes us but First things first is going to be a light in in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dublin. To be fair, it's not even morning anymore. It's afternoon. We didn't get to bed last night until 2 a.m. And then we slept until about 10, half 10. And we've had a very chilled out morning. I edited a vlog from our California series that needs to go up in the next couple of days. 
Dean's chilled out and watched some football, some YouTube, things like that. We're taking the opportunity to be very chilled and relaxed today before we hit the ground running tomorrow. We're not actually in Dublin to see the sights. We've just flown here because it worked out cheaper. We have been to Dublin before. We are gonna head out now. We're gonna go down by the River Liffey, the Halfpenny Bridge, Temple Bar. Do come along with us as we go and explore a little bit of Dublin. Well, the weather in Dublin today is absolutely gorgeous. There's a slight breeze, but it's blue skies, really nice temperature. I mean, we need a coat, but... Well, we're here right by Temple Bar. It's absolute chocker. It is a Saturday, so everyone's out having a few drinks. We are going to try and get a Guinness in there later, but we'll see. It's very, very busy. Lots of stag do's, lots of hen do's. Everyone enjoying their Saturday afternoon and Saturday night out, out in Dublin. Why do you eat 
order yourself a dessert. Did you not already eat a lot? Now you want to eat a lot. <laughs> it's like a loaf of bread. <laughs> well, actually, I tell the guys, I ordered it. But Dean's going to have to help me out. Luckily, they brought two New York style cheesecake with strawberry sauce. Put stuff in. Give it a taste. I think that's whipped cream. How is it? It's nice. Nice, creamy, like proper American New York cheesecake. Like ice cream, yeah. Okay, so we're back at the hotel and like I said, just took it nice and easy, chilled vibes, went for a little walk along the river, round by Temple Bar, went to the most expensive hard rock we've ever eaten at. It was lovely, don't get me wrong, we had a really nice meal in there, but my God, 115 euros for the two of us. Now, we did have starters, mains, I had a side and then we shared a dessert, but oh my God. 115 euros that starter i had the chicken tenders were 18 euros more or less I, that's got to be the most expensive one we've ever had isn't it dean yeah you can there. see dean there snooping in the background um it was lovely though we had a look at the pins i didn't actually need to buy a pin from hard rock when we were here in 2018 it was closed for a refurbishment so i couldn't get a pin now i mentioned that and two lovely subscribers from dublin bought me a pin so if you know who you are thank you very much for buying the pin i didn't need to buy one but i did pick one up for my little nephew jude and then i also picked up the breast cancer awareness one for my mum that charity anything to do with breast cancer is close to our heart so i picked that one up for my mum but i didn't need to get one for myself thanks to two very generous subscribers uh, so yes, we're back at the hotel. Dean's nagging at me to go and get a Guinness. I don't really fancy one. I'm really full, but Dean's telling me that I have to get one. So, oh, <laughs> so if I go for a Guinness, I'll include some footage from a Guinness. If I don't go for a Guinness, then we will see you in tomorrow's vlog for our proper official travel day, where we will let you know where we're going finally. Good night, guys.